Greetings, my friends. So you have an expert in the field, a prominent Jewish rabbi, who is now saying that Nibiru, Planet X, the Destroyer, and the Messiah may very well come to Earth before the Jewish New Year of 2016. He's also saying that Nibiru may kill billions of people, wiping billions off the face of the Earth. Now, i got to say this much. <coughs> I have a lot of respect for the Jewish people as a whole. I love them. Rabbis are special people as well. They don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior yet. Some Jews are coming around and they're becoming um, Jews that know Jesus, which is really cool. But most of them don't know Jesus. Most of them don't understand. But you have to give them credit because they're looking in the right direction. And they're, they're in the ballpark. They're in the ballpark. They're just slightly off with some things they're saying. Now, could Jesus come before the Jewish New Year? Oh, yeah. See, the Jewish rabbis expect the Messiah as something different. They don't expect the Messiah to be Jesus getting his bride at the rapture. But they're right. Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. It could be before the Jewish New Year. It could be before this video is over with. He's also right that a large heavenly body will hit Earth very soon. It could happen before the Jewish New Year. And if the rapture happens first, and it will be an asteroid more than likely. He says Nibiru. It'll be an asteroid more than likely. It could be Nibiru. But whatever it is, it will indeed kill billions. He's right about that as well. Because the Bible says that a heavenly body will fall from the sky in the tribulation. It'll wipe out a third of the population, basically. Billions. Destroy rivers, streams, oceans, groundwaters, lakes, people, animals, plants, trees, vegetables. This is what the bottom line is. Bottom line is even the Jews are seeing things more clearly than most Christians are because most Christians are just so dumbed down, they're clueless. They have the discernment of an empty clamshell baking in the sun on the beach somewhere. They have no idea what's going on. And I'll talk about that some more tomorrow, Lord willing, in my weekly sermon. But here's the deal. America's done. This world is toast. And those who hate the Jews and hate Israel... <laughs> God's already said he will hate them, and he's not playing around. He will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse Israel. And Israel is about to make a huge move in the world. The rest of the world is sunk and finished. Jesus Christ is your only hope. The age of the Gentiles is almost totally over. It'll soon be Daniel's 70th week, the age of the Jews, when God deals with them exclusively. The Gentiles will be an afterthought. We've had over 2,000 years to get our act together, and sadly, the church turned into a big, stinking joke for the most part. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video, and no one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, start doing it now. And if you are, great. And look up or dip from Doroth Nye. We fly soon. Help me share the word. Help me get it out there. People need to know about Jesus. They need to know about him right now. Take care of yourselves. Bye.